Well, it's no secret that poverty is a big problem in the Bluff City. More than 25% of the people here live at or below the poverty level. And now families already struggling are facing another huge choice as schools reopen. Either work to survive or stay home with their child. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews says Shelby County and the YMCA, well, they want to help. Well, with the school year fast approaching and with students, a lot of students, learning and being in class on a computer, it leaves parents, especially single parents, a big decision. Either they uh, go to work uh, and uh, have and, and, and figure out where, where, where the kid will go, or they stay home and they miss uh, their ability to earn a living and take care of their family. This is the solution, a virtual academy. It's even got its own mascot. It's for children of county employees, a place where kids between 5 and 10 years of age can be taught online and kept socially distant from the others. And they are targeting the kids between 5 and 10. Of course, over 10 is a kind of a different dynamic, and under 5 is um, a, a very different dynamic, too, because that's a, that's a daycare situation, and those kids are not ordinarily in school. The mayor wants two locations for his virtual academy, one downtown, one out east. They could accept maybe 50 kids total in order to keep social distancing. Meanwhile, the YMCA is working on setting up similar virtual academies for people. We think there are other large employers that are also going to build out their virtual learning academies over the next couple of weeks. Uh, and the YMCA is also uh, building out several virtual learning academies for, for the community at large. Obviously, the virtual learning academies Mayor Harris is talking about won't take care of everybody, he says, but at least it's a start. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.